Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Dr. Yabo. I'm the Money to Honey coach. Today we're talking about the honey part of the money to honey, right? Okay. Today we're talking about the love and relationships part. So welcome to my channel. I'm the Money to Honey coach. I'm also a board certified pediatrician. I'm a lifestyle blogger, business and lifestyle coach. I'm an author and a motivational speaker. And of course, a proud seven figure entrepreneur and owner of Six Income Streams. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Today, we're talking about the honey part of my platform. You guys know I help women make more money and attract their honey. So today we're talking about the one thing, the one thing that you need to do to make him fall in love with you again. Whether you're single, divorced, or married, this video is for you. I'm discussing one thing that will make a man fall in love with you. And even if you're already married, he can fall in love with you again, or he can keep falling in love more and more with you. So stay tuned. We're going to dive right in. Here we go. This is the one thing. Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm not going to keep you in suspense. This video is direct and straight to the point. The one thing that women need to do to make a man fall in love with him is, drum roll, don't be so available and get a life. Yes, that's the sentence. Women, stop being super available to men and stop being or rather sitting around, waiting around for a man, get a life. Stop being available and get a life. Let me explain. If you're single and you're still in the dating field, you have to remember that men like mystery. They like mysterious women. They like women who are not needy. They like women who have other things going on for them. They like women, no matter as much as some men want their wives to be stay-at-home moms. That's why I have a problem with it, honestly, because every single woman that I know, and you can, you guys may have other examples, but every single woman that I know who has decided to be a stay-at-home mom, you know, either on her own or because her husband asked her, anyway, they're usually happy in the beginning, but fast forward, as their kids get older, they start to feel resentment all the ones that I know. Again, it's not statistically, you know, uh, uh, what's it called? All inclusive. You guys may know somebody who's been a stay home mom and loves it and is like 80 years old now, but all the ones that I know say that if they were to do it again, they wouldn't just stay home doing nothing and just taking care of only their kids and their home. They would have done something else. So this is why I say don't be available and get a life, okay? So if you're single and you're still in the dating field, don't be available all the time. Don't be sitting beside your cell phone and looking at your cell phone obsessively waiting for him to call or text. And even if you are, don't reply immediately. I'm not saying you should play games. Look, I'm 50 years old. I'm not teaching any woman out there to play games because, you know, I want you guys to be mature. But I want you to sincerely and truthfully have other things going on in your life so that you don't feel so compelled to pick, to answer his texts immediately or answer his phone calls immediately. Get a life. You know, nobody likes needy people. Nobody likes somebody who's like all in their face. Have some mystery. Have something going on in your life. If he calls you and you miss his call, you don't have to call him back immediately if you're in the middle of something, right? If you're busy with work, you're shooting a YouTube video like, I doing, don't, uh, like I'm doing, don't pause the video and call him back because you don't want to lose him. You will lose him fast, <laughs> okay? You guys don't understand the art of making a man fall in love with you. If you're always there, always available, you will lose him fast. He will run away from you, okay? Get busy with your life. If he loves you and he wants you in your life, even if you don't reply him till later in the evening, he will be there. He's not going anywhere if he wants you. Stop being so available and get a life. I hope you guys have all paused this video to write it in your journal. The way to make a man fall in love with you is to, I hope you're saying it, 
don't be so available and get a life. That has to be a sentence you're saying in your mind. Don't reply his calls and texts so quickly. Don't always be available. I've said this in another video. If he's trying to plan a date and you already have other things going on that day, tell him you're not available. Don't cancel what you're doing because of him, right? This is something that I also learned over the years. I didn't know it when I was naive in my teenage, in my 20s, but I learned it over the years and I want to put, give it to women now so that they know, especially now that there's so many older women who are single and who are still in the dating field. Don't be so available. If you already have something going on, don't cancel it. If you have a project you have to do and you're not available for like three or four days, tell him you're not available. But always, and that this is one thing I've said, always at the end of saying I'm not available on that day, give him an alternative. If you just say I'm not available and you don't give an alternative, that's also not good because you're going to push him away. He's going to think you don't have time for him and you don't have time for dating. If he says let's go out on a Wednesday and you're busy on that Wednesday, say how about Thursday? I'm sorry, I cannot do Wednesday. How about Thursday? If he's not available on Thursday, you guys keep trying the next day and the next day and the next day until you both have a day, you're both available. But if he says, I'm not available on Thursday, don't then go back and say, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll be available for you on Wednesday. Don't do that, okay? If you look at your calendar and he asks you first if you're available on a Wednesday and you're not, say you're not, project you know, ask for Thursday or Friday or whenever you're next available. If he is not available that day, keep on moving into the future until one of you is available. Make sure you're not the one who changes your schedule for him. If he sees that you guys cannot decide on a date for a long time, he will, he will tell you and say, you know what, I'll switch my schedule around for Thursday because I don't want to wait for one week or two weeks before I see you. That's how you make a man fall in love with you. But if you start canceling all your things you have to do, if you start jumping to the phone and picking up one second after, or if you start chasing him and calling and texting him, even if he was falling in love with you, he's going to fall out of love with you. He's going to take the more you try to move fast towards him, the more he's moving fast away from you. So the way... I've said it again, this is going to be a short video because it's straight to the point. Single and divorced women, okay? Make sure that you have a life. Make sure you have your hobbies, your self-care, your creative things that you have going on. Make sure that, you know, you're busy with your life, even if it's just that you're reading a book or if today you had planned to go out with brunch, to brunch with your friends or you had a Zoom party or you wanted to shoot your YouTube videos, Whatever it is, or today is your meal cooking day, your meal planning day. You don't have to drop everything because of a guy, especially because of a guy who you're not even married to. Even if you're, you know, even if you're engaged or whatever, the way to make him fall in love with you is by not being so available and by, I'm sorry, a text came in, and by getting a life. Be busy with your life. Make him miss you. Make him feel the absence of you from time to time so that he doesn't take you for granted. If you're all in a man's face, if he doesn't have the ability to miss you, he's going to withdraw from you. He's going to go cold on you. You guys have to understand the way men deal. That is how they are. You just have to understand it. And even for anybody, if you're always available for anybody, whether it's a man or a woman, they after a while, they'll take you for granted, right? Even with girlfriends, that law is, is, is right, right? If you're always available for a girlfriend, if you're always picking up their phone, always, 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 you know, at some point, they'll take you for granted. You have to have your own life. And the reason I included my married women in here is that it's the same thing. Even as a married woman, get a life, okay? And don't always be available. And you guys are going to ask me, oh, how about COVID times? We're all in the house together. Even if you're in the house together, for example, let me give you an example. I'm in the basement today. It's Sunday. It's my YouTube shooting day. I like shooting my YouTube videos on Sunday. I'll do several of them back to back. 
my husband knows that I'm working. I had told him a few days ago that Sunday I'm going to be working for most of the morning and I then have a tea time after that. But after my tea time, I'm all yours. We have time. So I already set the boundaries. I already let him know that I'm busy and he's watching football upstairs because he loves, you know, English football. So, you know, we have a space. We give each other space. There are some times that he has a project. He has some work thing he's doing. And he lets me know and I give him his space and we're in different parts of the house. That's the same thing. I'm not always available and I, I have a life outside of my marriage. That is what men love. But if you're always in his face, you don't have anything to do. I'm not saying you shouldn't be available. The trick is get a life. Don't always be available, but you must also create time to be available to your boyfriend or your fiance or your husband. And when you are available, here's the trick, right guys? It's not even a trick. Here is it. When you're available, make sure you're fully present. You are emotionally present. You know, you're present with all your senses. You, you're lighthearted. You're both talking back and forth. You're listening to the things he wants to say to you. You're loving. You're cuddly. You're present, right? You don't want to be there and then you're still on your phone or whatever. Or you could even just be laying beside each other and both reading a book or both be on your phones but you're you know skin to skin it's not that you're in, on the same sofa and you're sitting on separate ends of the sofa there are many times that we just lay down and we're laying down like you know stuck to each other and we're both on our phones for us that's still bonding time because we're very close to each other our arms are like encircled we're oh you know all cuddled up and we could both be on our phones doing our own thing but it's still bonding time but you guys get the point I'm saying. Even if you live in the same house, have your boundaries, have time where you're doing your own thing as well. Even if you work outside the home, when you're home, you could be doing something. You could have, you could be knitting, right? You could be writing your book. You could be preparing your social media content for next week. You could be shooting your YouTube video. You could be, do, you could be taking a walk on your own. You could be doing your hair. You know, it's, you could be, it's just, you have to get a life outside and you have to make him miss you and make him know what it feels like not having you around all the time. But if you're that needy woman who's constantly in his face, constantly nagging, constantly asking questions, constantly, 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 24 seven, you know, it will get old and boring quickly. So this is the thing. We both work from home most of the time so but we're not always together that's the thing there's many times that even though we're both in the same house we may not see each other for like six hours because we're working i'm doing my milestone work i'm doing all my admin work i'm doing my billing work for my medical practice or i'm writing for my blog or writing my social media content or doing my youtube videos and he is in another part of the house but when we cross paths we hug each other we, we flirt we do all that so we're both not available to each other all the time and we both have a life and this is why again i respect stay home moms but please 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 if you're a stay home if you're a mom who's considering staying home please listen to my videos over and over because it's always very attractive always very nice when you want to do it but remember the consequences in five to 10 years time. If you drop your job, drop all your, everything that you're doing, focus only on your husband and your kids. Fast forward in five to 10 years time, you're going to have a blank CV, blank resume. You will feel like time has passed you by. You will just not be able to get back into that workforce or entrepreneurship force. And it just makes you boring. You know, you're available all the time. You're just sitting around at home taking care of kids and taking care of the home. What else do you have going on? What is your purpose work? I understand that raising our families is super important. So please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. You, we have to raise our kids. We have to be there for our husband. But there's more to life than that. There's more to life than that. So again, if you do want to be a stay-at-home mom, I respect that decision. 
but ponder it carefully before you make that decision to stay home and drop all of your work and all your career and your business plans and everything. You may regret it in five to 10 years, you may. So anyway, going back to how to make a man fall in love with you, whether you're a single, divorced or married woman, the way to do it is not to be so available and you must get a life. So you guys understand it, single and divorced, don't always be available, don't return his calls and texts too promptly, don't call him and text him all the time, stop asking him where he is, what is he doing, you guys have heard this in all my other videos, I'm not going to go into it too much, and make sure you are busy, make sure you're busy, start working on that business, start starting that blog, start learning how to swim, start practicing for that marathon, start that online business, you know, start a youtube video stay busy and do things in your life start doing your purpose work so that this man will know this is a woman that has a life and she is resourceful and she has other things going on other than obsessing about me make this man miss you that is how he will fall in love with you he doesn't fall in love with you by you being available all the time going to his house to do his laundry to cook all his meals to wash his floor to cook him jollof rice and this and all my African sisters, you guys know, no, no, no. The way you make him fall in love with you is becoming that high value, high quality woman by not being available all the time and by getting a life and being busy in your life, okay? That's how you make him fall in love. And if you're married, you've heard the example. You can do it too if you're married get a life right don't drop your business plans don't drop your career because you're married have a life pick up hobbies pick up an online business start having income streams take care of yourself go for walks do your exercise you know just be busy outside the life you both have together and you don't have to always be you know next to each other so that you guys can appreciate each other miss each other a bit then when you do get together and you're together, then it is, you know, you'll be emotionally present. You'll be, you know, you'll just be yourself and you really love to spend time together and take care of yourselves even when you're at home. You don't have to, I'm at home now. I know I'm doing a YouTube video, but I dress well even when I'm at home. Even if I'm just in my workout gear or whatever, I put myself together as much as I can. So guys, like I said, this is a shortish video. I know I've talked for 16 minutes, but I will conclude by saying the way to make him fall in love with you is by not being so available, not being needy and having a life outside of him. He will fall in love with you. Try it and you'll see how it works. It will even help your marriages do better. So you guys try what I've said and come back and tell me the results. I love you all, ladies. God bless. See you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and make sure you comment on this video. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.